Another good reminder that I've had issues with before, and I know people have mentioned it to me, but when you disassemble a carburetor, before you use carburetor cleaner, take all your little O-rings, the rubber O-rings off, any little gasket that might be on there, pull it off, make sure you remember where it goes. And uh, I left the gasket on my bowl, but I try not to get any of the cleaner onto that. I spray it down to, into the holes, and then I take quickly, I use compressed air and shoot that cleaner out of there. That way it doesn't have time to really react and mess up your gasket. But if you're putting all new, well, put new gaskets on, I'm just going to take it off. Just remember that because if you don't, that carburetor cleaner will ruin that little O ring and it could ruin this other gasket here, too. So, just a tip. Okay, I went back to cleaning and I'll get back with you. There's something else, too, that I uh, overlooked, forgot. As I mentioned, this is your idle screw. There is another adjustment screw down in here. You can see it. It's awful blurry. I can't get very close. This camera just focuses from one distance, and when I pull it closer, it gets blurry. But anyway, you can kind of see that. What we're going to do is take that screw out too. Now, the way to do that is it's got a slotted head for a screwdriver, and you take and you count the turns in first. Okay? So you turn it. This one's a half, and it's three quarters of a turn. Okay? Now, what you can do is you take it out. Take that that adjustment screw out and what we're going to do is run some cleaner down in that hole too and clean off the adjustment screw and um, then we'll put that back in you can see it's just nothing but a little brass adjustment screw there's a spring in there too that you have to uh, take out I don't know if you can see that you probably can't get my gloves are in the way Anyway, a little uh, spring that goes in there. So what we're going to do is take it and shoot some cleaner up in that hole and blow it out and put it back together. And what you do is you tighten it all, run it in all the way until it seats itself. You don't have to crank on it. You just do it until it seats itself. And then you back it out three quarters of a turn. And now it's set right where it was before. That's how you do that.